I know we're all gonna die uh, tonight, but um, <laughs> lock the doors. I, uh, but, uh, I just I don't want to die in an embarrassing way, you know. Like, that's my worst fear, like choking to death. Can you imagine if that's how you went out, choking to death? What an idiot, huh? <laughs> oh, how'd he die? Oh, uh, you know that thing you've done a million times in your life? <laughs> Chewing and swallowing, yeah. <laughs> he just couldn't get the hang of it that one time. <laughs> Paid the ultimate price. <laughs> Humiliating. If I was choking to death in a public place, I would decline help. I'd be like, let it happen, I deserve this. <laughs> It's my time. <laughs> I almost choked to death a few weeks ago. It was so scary, because I was home alone. When you start choking and you're home alone, it's like the scariest thing in the world. This was extra scary, because I wasn't even eating. I was drinking a glass of ice water. Ice cube got lodged in my throat. I'm like, no way, not like this, come on. <laughs> melt, melt. <laughs> I knew if I could last like 20 more seconds, this instrument of death would turn into the very substance I require to live. <laughs> and the whole time I'm just like, if I actually die right now, whoever finds my body is gonna have no idea what happened to me. <laughs> they just show up, see my stupid dead body there. Like, I don't know, I mean, he was hydrated, that's for sure. <laughs> natural causes, that's what they'd write. Anytime you're looking at an autopsy report and you see the person died of natural causes, that person choked on an ice cube. And that's what happened. <laughs> Remember that the next time you're perusing the autopsies. <laughs> <laughs>